everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Building MV Dauntless. For the past few weeks, we have been fitting the panels onto the forms. It's a long, tedious process, but it's absolutely necessary that we get it right. But first, we need to fiberglass the little section on the hull side panels that we left unglassed, and you'll find out why in just a second. When we fiberglassed the first time, we did mirror images of each other when they weren't supposed to. If you know why, can you see the, the problem here? So that's panel one. And then that's panel two. And? And we should have actually left the fiberglass stopped on the, on the opposite other. side of one of these panels. We actually didn't really screw up because we have to fiberglass this now. Why? Because it will not bend. It won't bend not nearly as easy as the bridge deck. Bridge deck we literally put on the forms and they folded right onto the curve beautifully. For some reason these won't bend. I don't know if it's because maybe... Oh, yeah, maybe we should have stopped the fiberglass a little bit further back. So what are we going to do? We're going to fiberglass and then curve cut. we will curve cut. So we can bend it to the forms. And then after that, we'll fill the curves with a mixture of colloidal silicone yeah. and epoxy. We'll let that set. We'll sand it down. And then we're going to wrap the whole thing with a layer of fiberglass on, over the curves afterwards. Okay. Just for structural stability. And that's kind of what they recommend, but we we're hoping to save a step uh, doing it like this. Unfortunately, it's not seeming to work out for us, so. Anything else? Here we go. Here we go. All right, so what are Cassie's doing here? I just finished sanding this down. We had a sharp edge on both layers, so I tried to bevel it down. It's pretty gentle, just to avoid uh, you know, even more fairing in the end. And uh, the lovely Miss Cassie right here is just wiping off all the dust with a, a rag and some acetone. And uh, then we'll be ready to fiberglass. <laughs> After finishing these hull side panels, we actually needed to put them to the side while we dry fit all of the other panels, which we will get into right now. Don't mind Carl's slow wave there. It took him about 42 seconds to do that in slow motion. I wasn't expecting you to climb up. <laughs> All right, so what we're doing is we need to close this gap up here. I can push it down a little bit to gain some on it, but uh, we're still too wide on the bottom of these panels. So uh, if you look at the top here, you can probably show a side view from inside. And you can see how high that panel is compared to where the, uh, the corner is, like these corners here. I don't know if you can see mm -hmm. that one up there. 
Um, so we have some we can actually take off the bottom of these without a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark how much we can take off and I'll run a compass along the bridge deck at that height and then I'll take that off and then we'll try to see if this will fit any better. And I, I have a feeling it'll, it'll drop down quite a bit from here. And then uh, we'll trim whatever we have to to get the fit. Once we get one fit, we can literally just make the mirror image of the other and uh, we're good to go. On to the next. Hopefully. Good, because now we can start doing this, right? So now that, that all fits all the way down there, right? So ideally, I'd actually get that to there. And you can see my cut's a little off, but it's not bad, right? And that should theoretically just about roll into place right there if we do this right, right? And again, I can adjust this a little here or there, so it's there, and the next panel comes in. So I have to take off a little bit more all the way down this the front tip end. here, right? Okay. So I don't want to overdo it, and then then we're like trying to fill fill, fill gaps. Like we can fill gaps, but I don't want to. Not big ones like that. Yeah, it's like up here and there. It's not a big deal. Okay. You know? okay. Fingers crossed we didn't screw this up, right? Let's check our work. <laughs> yeah. uh, much not bad. better. Um, yeah, that'll be all right. I can, I can probably get that in there. I might have to take just a, just a slight bit off of this area here. You see, it's good all the way to there. There's a slight gap, but nothing big. Hmm. And it starts hitting right there. And that hits all the way down to about here. And this I can push in. Okay, so that's good there. So we're gonna go all the way to here, I'm gonna say. All right, give or take here. I think that's gonna be pretty good. And I'm gonna go up to about here. That dog is always barking, I'm telling you. <laughs> he never stops. Whenever we're out here. I feel bad. He just wants to be out here with us, but dust. That's all pretty good, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Right there. Yep. A little wave in that car, but nothing, nothing a little millimeter ain't. Right, so I'm gonna have to put something underneath just to hold that up. A curve it. I need to get that curve a little bit better. Okay. Right. But I think it will do. Yeah, just so fine. I, I don't need much. I just need a little block, maybe. Recording this in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> board here just to support the whole panel because we're going to bend the tip down. Okay. So the board is only to support it across. Okay. I'll put screws in this later probably in different spots. But for now I just want to make sure everything's fit good. This one? Yeah it should fit. Right. Pretty damn close. Yeah we got a little bit of a gap there. Where? Right there. Yeah, no. I think it's a little bit of a gap. Filler! Yeah. We should be able to fill them probably. What I've done is uh, I've removed all the clamps. Uh, we let these sit in the heat for about a day and a half, two days actually. And uh, they seem to hold, hold the shape pretty good after we had them clamped in the heat for a couple days. Um, luckily we built a greenhouse so it stays pretty warm in here. Um, I've since taken the clamps off, I've put permanent, like temporary, more permanent cleats in here. Just so we can keep fitting panels above this. Um, I've also screwed in cleats on the back side of here. I'm not sure how well you can see this stuff, but uh, I did about every other frame all the way down and that'll give me something to clamp to on the next panels. The hope is the same thing. We're gonna clamp it up, let it sit in the heat and uh, hopefully it just 
contour us to the uh, the curve we need and uh, next step is to put the uh, the next panels up I'm not sure what they were called I think they were just straight hull panels and it's a wrap for this week thanks for watching be sure to like share and subscribe and see you soon They're shiny pencils, they're bright. I can see them from a long way away. <laughs> it was super exciting. <laughs> the highlight of my day. Yeah. Sorry, guys. You're pulling the wrong end, though, bud. He's pulling your end because yeah. he knows you're holding it. If you let go of that rope, he'll stop pulling. Give me it. <laughs>